All right, well, welcome back everybody to the uh, Tone Devil Guitar Shop. Anthony Powell here, uh, checking in with you. Uh, had a little trouble with Dave's harp guitar today. What are you doing there, Dave? Uh, I'm gonna maybe do that maple, maple cover for the chest bevel. So that oh. it kind of hides that glue joint that we found. Yeah, and then so... I'm, I'm having some trouble with the uh, fingerboard situation. You want to give a little update about that? No. <laughs> okay. I'll try to explain it over here then. So I came in today and I, I saw that Dave had already glued on the fingerboard and the headstock veneer uh, to his harp guitar. And um, I, I had noticed that the, the area here hadn't gotten leveled off enough and there was a little bit of a a warble in the back of the fingerboard it, it had a little hump in it so it was uh it was just not glue it was just not glued up right and it had a little bit of a some high frets down here so we had to go ahead and take that off and uh i'm readjusting it all and fine tuning it so it'll have a perfect glue up so stay tuned for that Okay, so that was a major pain in the butt. I had we had to deglue the fingerboard off there. You didn't see any of this stuff. Like I said, when I got here, it was already glued up. The headstock veneer was already on there, and there was a big ski jump at the end of the fretboard. When you looked down at it, it was the the high frets were just higher than the rest of them, so it just wasn't wasn't right. So I had to take it all apart and uh, level out the fingerboard. I also noted that the fingerboard on the underside of it had a little bit of a crown to it, so. It was just uh, really in weird shape. So it just didn't want to cooperate with me for some reason today. Uh, even after I had all that stuff disassembled and, and straightened out, it just the, the glue up didn't want to go very well. It just was uh, being kind of a pain in the butt. So I uh, had to take the, take the uh, luthier clamps off back and forth a couple of times to get it to uh, seat up to the neck just right but uh, anyway it's all done I believe next my projects are going to be getting the binding on this 12 string guitar and this 24 string harp guitar both left-handed so uh, last uh, week we routed those binding channels and I've got some lovely walnut binding here all out and bent up just to fit those two so I'll have to get that stuff done. Okay, so I've got this 12 string guitar down here and I'm going to put some little lines on here to follow through with the binding channels. Uh, I've got these binding channels right there and I need to follow that through to tuck the binding underneath the fingerboard, underneath the fingerboard and into the neck block. So, and I usually, I usually route those with a little trim router. So, here I go. 